This is Aaron at Everything Wing Chun, and today we're going to take a real quick peek at the Quandam Wood Long Pole uh, being made. Uh, this is uh, offered by Buick Yip. The Quandam is the original wood that uh, was used in the long poles. It's very hard to find. Uh, we don't get these long poles very often, and uh, really this is the absolute best wood that you can uh, get for a long pole. So first the wood's uh, cut down into these uh, boards like you see here. Um, they come in large blocks and they're sawed down and then here he is, he's sanding it down into a uh, long rectangular version of the pole. And once that's done, he shaves the corners off and slowly shaves it down into the shape that you recognize as a pole, the circular shape. And you see him doing that here. Uh, he shaves, checks, you know, feels if there's any bumps he doesn't see and he slowly tapers the pole down. All of this is done by hand. And the next stage is uh, sanding, which you see him do here. The Quandem is, uh, starts off as a light wood with dark spots, as you can see here, and it slowly, as the air mixes with the, or hits the wood, and the oils from uh, the hand hit the wood, the wood becomes very dark. It becomes a, a deep, dark brown. Um, so if your pole is multicolored like this when you first get it, it should darken over time. Uh, most of them are already dark. The next step here is to check the pole to make sure it uh, doesn't have any bad spots that we can't see. And then it never, uh, never hurts to do a little long pole practice afterwards. And here you see some of the finished quantum. Um, you know, they're tapered, then they're straightened and uh, shaved down some more uh, over heat to make sure that they're straight and they're not going to warp on you. Uh, the middle one here has some dust on it, but you get an idea of the coloring of quantum. It's a very oily wood. Oily woods are good for poles because it allows them to stay flexible and not break under heavy stress. Now I want to point out um, what people commonly refer to as cracks in poles. Um, you see the top three, they have the dark uh, hairlines running uh, lengthwise um, on the pole. These aren't considered cracks by the manufacturer, uh, mainly for two reasons. First is that they're, they're not open, um, and you know they usually put putty over it to make sure air can't get in to widen them. But as long as they run uh, lengthwise, they really uh, don't affect the pole's performance at all. It doesn't cause the pole to crack or break. It's only if they go horizontally or, or widthwise that um, you know a pole will snap. And that's one of the reasons they test the pole by banging it to make sure that uh, the pole is not going to crack. Um, so if you get something like this, your pole should be fine and uh, they consider it normal. Uh, this next photo here, we have uh, you know one of the guys putting yacht varnish on the pole. Um, the yacht varnish they use is non-toxic and helps keep the pole uh, looking good for a long time. And those were uh, chawood poles, and this is chawood also. Chawood's basically um, just like quandam, although it's not quite as oily. Uh, we're pr pretty much the same weight and density. Uh, and here, this is our last order of chawood that we brought in. Chawood's uh, an excellent material for poles as well, and uh, you should get them if they're, if they're in stock. Well, we were lucky to get this quick glimpse of uh, how long poles were made by Buick and his guys the last time we were in China. And if they're in stock, uh, you should grab one if you can afford one because they never last long.